Good morning. It's raining today, so I can't ride, so I decided to film this video. So we're going to upgrade the Rad Rover with a couple of inexpensive upgrades. One is a 203 millimeter front disc brake from the 180 millimeter front disc brake that is stock, and this should help us stop faster. And then I'm going to upgrade the front chain ring from a 42 tooth to a 52 tooth uh, chain ring. And this is going to help us pedal a lot faster. Both of these are fairly inexpensive upgrades and easy to do. You don't need any special tools uh, to do these. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to upgrade today is the front chain ring. I'm comfortable pedaling the stock Rad Rover at about 18 to 20 miles an hour. Once you unlock the display and go over 20 miles an hour, I can't pedal that fast for very long, and that's why I want to upgrade the chain ring. I also have upgraded the controller and the motor, so now the bike goes even faster. It goes up to 28, 29 miles an hour, and there's no way I can pedal that fast. This is a chart showing you the different size chain rings over here that you can get easily on Amazon and at 60 RPMs on your pedal in 7th gear which is your smallest gear in the back which happens to be a 11 tooth gear. So with the stock Rad Rover 42 tooth front chain ring you're going 19 miles an hour at 60 RPM pedal speed. So you can see, you're staying with the stock Rad Rover. You might want to try one of these chain rings right in here. But I've upgraded my controller and my motor. This bike easily goes 28, 29 miles an hour. So I'm going to put on a 52 tooth chain ring and that's going to enable my bike to go 4.6 miles an hour faster at the same RPM. Replacing this chain ring is really easy to do. There are just four nuts and the, the new chain ring comes with new hardware. Uh, and I would use the new hardware with the new chain ring. The old chain ring also comes with these chain ring guards. And you can see that the, this chain ring is bigger than the guard, so there's no point in having the guards on here. Uh, I find the guards, all they do is collect dirt in here that I can't get out. And they're just there to protect your pants from getting a little grease if you have nice pants on, if you happen to lean up against the chain. That's all the chain guard does, really, besides uh, collect dirt. So we're not going to replace those. So... These four nuts here, six millimeter. Don't forget to take the chain off. Make sure the bike is turned off. If it's on and you were to move this, uh, the pedal assist sensor would kick in and the bike would take off, so just make sure it's off. And this is why we're going to use the new hardware. The old hardware is longer for the spacers that are here. And there's spacers in between here. So use the new hardware.
All set. The next thing we want to upgrade is the front disc brake. We're going to put on this 203 millimeter. And this is 180 millimeter, the original stock. Now I have a 2020 Rad Rover 5, and it is what I call a native 180 millimeter. There is not a spacer here yet on here. It is the smallest disc you can use on here is 180 millimeters. Some bikes, like the Hemiway, are a 160 millimeter native bike, and there's already a spacer there to put the 180 millimeter disc on there. You cannot use two spacers. You cannot go from 160 millimeter to 203. You can go from 160 to 180, or 180 to 203, but you can't make two jumps at once and use two spacers. So we're going to go from 180 here, and we're just going to insert this spacer in here, and it's going to move our disc brake back a little bit, and then I'm going to be able to put the bigger disc on here. So it's real simple, just two bolts, and then this spacer, which I will give you the part number for, also comes with the new bolts and the bolts have Loctite on them. Anything to do with your brake components, make sure you use Loctite on it because it's a safety issue. So we're gonna replace this disc and we're gonna use Loctite on the, the nuts here. In fact, the new disc comes with new hardware and it already has Loctite on the hardware. We don't even have to put it on there. So let's take this tire off, this wheel off, and get started on this upgrade. Replacing this disc should just be a piece of cake, uh, but you do need a T25 Torx uh, star tool, T25. And these buggers are on there good. Ah. The new one, I'm gonna try not to touch the outside. So I got the bike upside down. It's easier to get this brake off. We're gonna install this spacer in here. Uh, just these two bolts come out of here, five millimeter, and this comes off real simply. The new spacer comes with new bolts, a long bolt and a short bolt. And then it also comes with four washers. There's a concave washer and a convex washer. Put a concave and a convex washer on each bolt. The long bolt is gonna go through the thick end here. This is labeled up, so the thick end goes up and the bike's upside down, so that goes on this way right here. Thick end down when it's upside down. So let me take the long bolt. Get through the spacer. And then the top bolt right here.
and these bolts are tight uh, with the uh, Loctite on them. They don't go in real easy. So we're going to leave these loose. Don't tighten them up all the way until we get the wheel back on. So I'll just leave it like that. There is an arrow on the disc. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Uh, tells you the direction of rotation and if you can see it it's on the right side if it's on the other side you're doing the wrong way but that's the direction of rotation so I left this brake loose here for a reason we want to center we want this brake to be centered on the disc so with my right foot I can press you can't see it but I'm pressing on the brake and tightening it down and that's going to pull this into the center here so while I'm pressing on the brake I'm going to finish tightening up this and that should be it Well, I took it for a test drive. Brakes work great, and I love the new gear ratios I have. You can pedal a lot faster, especially with the 52 tooth upgrade from 42. That's pretty drastic. I uh, will leave links in the description, and I will see you on the next one.